And today I'm just going to bring you a short video about ready or not. Um, I've been seeing a lot of questions fly around on the internet. Is this game controller compatible? You know, me being a PC guy and playing with a controller. Um, I had to put the word out there for my uh, fellow controller guys. So yes, ready or not is controller compatible. But what you're going to have to do, um, I think you, it's only compatible with an Xbox controller. I'm using this xbox controller i got it for 20 dollars at walmart oh uh, or a steam controller i'm not sure about ps3 i mean ps4 ps5 controllers but you know microsoft really works with computers anyways so what you're gonna do is you know you have to once you purchase the game you're gonna go over here to control the configuration you're gonna click on that and then you can go to browse configs um i'm using the one at the top it had the most votes so i just went ahead you click on that, and then once you click on that, it'll show uh, the controller configuration. Then you hit um, apply configuration. I'm not going to hit apply configuration because I've already done it. And then that's it. Now you'll be able to play with your controller, your Xbox controller. Now, I know some people might have been on the fence about getting this game because, like me, with a mouse and keyboard, I, I suck and I'm no good. So I wanted to, you know, make sure... That like last night I was really kind. I've been wanting to play this game for a long time, so I've really been contemplating on buying this game because I, you know, I wanted to try it out, but I was afraid it didn't have controller compatibility, and I thought I was, you know, it would just be a waste of money. But uh, let me show you how it was working. As you can see, controller right here. I'm moving, moving, moving with the controller nothing i'm doing everything with the controller let me put it in front of the camera yeah everything with the controller i'm gonna go down here now for some of you who don't know what ready or not is ready or not is a super tactical shooting game like for the people who are watching this video i'm sure you already know what the game is about you was just as sure but yeah everything works man everything works we're gonna go here uh shoot zoom in reload works lean click the right stick in move left right lean uh double tap y get your pistol uh up on the d-pad turns on your flashlight uh down on the d-pad brings your little camera gun that you look through under doors um right for your flashbangs or whatever throwables you have in your in your uh arsenal uh crouch with b uh you jump with uh with the options button or start or whatever y'all call it but jumping is pretty much useless in this game but <clears throat> there you have it guys it was just a quick tutorial to show you that controllers do work on this game so if you was on the fence about buying it because you wasn't sure about controller support Go ahead. I mean, I played it up for a little bit. This game is definitely difficult. It's lit. Um, it's a five players online uh, co-op, or you can play by yourself. Right now, it's in early access. It just came out last week. I think there uh, there's PvP in it as well, but they just haven't implemented it in the closed alpha yet. Um, so... Uh, I really want to put some content out on this game, but I, I just wanted to put a short video out first to let y'all know that this game is controller compatible. So, I mean, if this if this uh, video helped you out, help you out, you know, please leave a like. If you guys enjoy my comment, please subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Oh, before I get off, the controller doesn't do everything. If you're playing by yourself with the AI, you still have to use your mouse wheel and everything to stack them up to the door. I mean, there's a quick stack, but if you want to get in depth, like if you want them to breach with a C4 and then throw a flashbang, you're going to have to use your mouse wheel for that. So it's not completely controller savvy, but I mean, it's better than nothing in the control kind of, it, it feels good. If it, it feels good for this game. Now, this isn't a call of duty game. We're just going to be running around and shooting. If you try that, you will die. 
but the controls feel good if it gives it that realistic recoil and everything so you know if you guys wanted to if you was on the fence about checking it out you know check it out once again you guys can see controller right here everything up on the d-pad for fully automatic everything is I don't, oh, it's left on the D-pad for fully automatic. All right. Well, that's all. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.